Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero, I am a Cloud Solution Specialist, and in this video I am going to talk about um, how you can check your Secure Agent Services status and how you can stop and start those services using the Informatica REST API. The first thing that we are going to talk is why is it useful to be able to check the secure agent services status and to stop or start them uh, using the REST API. After that, I will proceed to show you a little demo how to do that. And at the end, I will show you links to our documentation. Okay, so the first question is why is this useful? Well, you don't need to be all day monitoring your uh, your agent. You just imagine uh, you need someone 24 hours, seven days a week to be able to to <laughs> look at the uh, the agent status. And if something happens, they need to take actions. Well, if you have REST APIs, you can automate all that. You can have your uh, code or your tool that is going to be sending this API request to check what is the current status. If everything is running fine, you don't need to do anything else. If you detect that one of the service is not running, you can take any action that you want. You can alert uh, your system admins, you can alert the developers, and you can also start the service automatically. So, so this is going to uh, make your system more robust and it's going to reduce the impact in case one of the services go down. So now we are going to do a little demo so you can see which API calls we use and what kind of information they provide. So the first thing is like you need to log in. When you log in you're going to get a, an ID and this ID can uh, will be used on all the other API calls. And depending if the API call is version 2 or version 3, in the header, you will have an element. If it's version 2, it's going to be called IC session ID. But if it's version 3, it's going to be called Infa session ID. It doesn't matter which name you use. The value is going to be the same. It works for both of them. So you don't have to worry about it. So the first API that we're going to use uh, is the one to check what is the status of our agent. And this API, uh, offers different options. We can list all the agents that are running in the organization and just general information about that agent. You are gonna be, you are not going to see each of the services, just general information. You can display only general information about your your agent, and you can do it by ID or by name. And one the one that we really care right now uh, for this demo is. You want the details for one specific agent and you will do by, by ID or you can do it by name. Uh, because when you choose the details, this is going to tell you all the services that are running in your, in your agent and the status of those, of those services. So we come here and uh, it's going to call this API. Okay, so I am calling it. I have here the response, the general information about the agent is active. Uh, it's true because right now, if you see my agent, everything is is it's working, it's running. And then here, the detail. This is where you are going to see each of the services. For example, we have common integration components, and you see here, and the status is running. Then we have more information about that um, service, but right now that's out of the scope so we we really don't care i'm going to minimize so we will go here see that's another service data integration server we see it here and the status you can see that is it's running so you know now how to how to um, call this api in order to to get the status you can pass this JSON response to your script and uh, pull that information from there. Okay, but what if you want to take actions if you want to stop or restart services? Well, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to look up for the object ID that represents your, your secure agent. 
and that ID is not the same ID that we use here. So that can be a little confusing, but just keep in mind those IDs are not the same. Uh, so we have another API call, call it lookup. And here in the body, you are going to pass the name of your secure agent. You don't want the name of the runtime environment. You want the name of the secure agent because the runtime environment has a different ID. So we want just uh, the name and when we specify that this object, that's the name of the object and it's a type, it's an agent. So we run it and it's gonna give us a specific ID. And this is the ID that we are gonna use when we want to stop or start services in, in our agent. So now let's go to, uh, to this API call to change the status of the services. And here uh, in the body, you need to specify which service um, you want to modify the status. And the name of the service is exactly the name that you see here uh, on your screen, in the administrator screen. Uh, so right now I want to change the status of mass ingestion. If you see mass ingestion is actually right now running, so I want to stop it. I have here the agent ID. This is the ID that I got in the lookup query uh, call. So now I am going to send this request and service state need to stop. It was successfully so now let's come here we, and I am going to refresh and we are going to see if this status changed or not. So if I refresh this screen, we can see now this one was stopped. Uh, now I want to start this one. I will send that request. And here is determined, okay, it's gonna run, successfully initiated the start action. I come here, and I'm going to refresh the status and it should change. Oh, it's, it's starting up right now. Okay, it, it will take a few, few seconds to, to start. But this is a way that you can use our APIs to automate uh, your monitoring and to take actions uh, based on the status th that you have and it's going to imp it's going to make your system more robust If you want to know more about the Informatica REST APIs, you can visit the website here I am posting the links to uh, The APIs that we use during the demo, but you can see the entire list of available APIs if you have any feedback, you can send us a message to our email or to our Twitter account. Thank you very much for your attention.